Hello guys, I am Bhavik Joshi. Today we will talk about the CFD simulation of Formula One car. So let's uh, let's get started. So here I have uh, imported the model of a Mercedes AMG Formula One car. In this video, we will learn how to interpret the results, the pre-processing and the post-processing in SolidWorks by Flow EMT Solver. Okay, so let's get started. First, we have imported our model, which is a solid body. Then we have to save the model before getting into the CFD simulation. So we have saved the model. Then go to the SolidWorks add-in. If your SolidWorks flow simulation is not active, so you can perform the analysis. So you have to active the SolidWorks flow simulation first. Then go to the flow simulation panel, okay, in command manager. Here you can find a lot of options are there, okay. So for this kind of analysis, we will start with the any kind of simulation you have to start with the wizard where you can set up your uh, set up your environment and uh, a lot of boundary conditions are there okay so we will start with the wizard in the wizard you can name your project okay i am naming it uh, formula 1 cfd then you can choose your configuration if there is any you have created customized okay and also the name you can change so we will move forward next here you can select your unit system okay uh, mass in kgs okay temperature is uh, celsius i will take celsius okay next next here there are two types of analysis one is uh, internal and uh, second one is the uh, external so for this kind of analysis uh, aerodynamic analysis you have to check the external analysis okay so here untick uh, two option exclude cavity without flow condition also we have not required and exclude internal space also we have not required so this and fluid flow okay conduction is not there because we are not doing a heat transfer analysis next one is a time dependent means transient analysis okay then gravity if you have if you want to turn on rotation part of it like turbocharger analysis Ro if uh, you can create your rotating region if your wheels are rotating you can check the rotation region also i will uh, show another option how to uh, move the surface of the uh, tire in the simulation free surface also we have not required right now so we'll move forward next here you can select the gases like i am doing air okay here you can select the flow type laminar and turbulent okay high mark number flow humidity okay, next here is the wall condition we will skip to the part here you can select the turbulence parameter as well in other software there are a lot of option of turbulence model select k omega k epsilon but here we can select the customized uh, turbulence parameters like turbulence intensity and turbulence length we will not change uh, right now so here velocity parameters if i have to do analysis as so my car is in x direction okay forward x direction so my flow will be in a minus x direction so i have to do like uh, 100 minus 100 kph okay I have to put down uh, minus 100 kilometer per hour. Okay, minus 27.77. Okay, done. Next, you can select the pressure, select the temperature, which is a uh, environmental condition. Okay. Then we will move forward. Next, finish. So here you can see my computational domain is already set up automatically. So here you can check like uh, the rear part of it have to be a three times larger than the length. So approximately this and I am setting up like so you can create a one surface as a ground okay then the front view I will decrease the area 
for less computational time for now okay you can enlarge it as you want okay for the larger accuracy great accuracy okay so here i have set up the computation domain in which area the flow will be affecting the car okay next if you want to rotate the wheels so here you can check the uh, wall condition a real wall or ideal wall okay wall motion uh, check the wall motion and then select the surfaces then you uh, you can give the angular velocity and velocity to the uh, uh, which whichever surface you have selected okay so we are not doing for the because it consumes a lot of time for uh, computing that's why here you can select the goals like i'm uh, if you want to calculate the drag force your down force okay so here you can check okay the velocity the turbulence parameters the normal forces okay in a x direction will be a drag force the y direction will be the down force so this kind of forces you can check your check here okay the overall normal force okay here i will tick then also you can make your own equations by putting it here equation goals so you can directly gain the value of uh, your coefficient of drag okay here is a global mesh you can customize your mesh so my basic mesh size is right here which was a default size of the computational domain so i will keep it the default you can uh, create your custom local mesh here but i will not do that because it consumes a lot of time okay so we are ready with the pre processing now we have to run the results so what you can do simply run and here you can uh, tick the solve and run so you can see that your analysis is running there is no warning right here how much time it will consume the iteration it is doing okay so my time will be calculation time left okay okay the solver is finished right you can close this panel and here you can see the results are here now you are in the post processing uh, part right now you can hide the computational domain for now okay now if you want to see the cut plots of velocity here i am adding the cut plot in this plane okay now click here okay so here you can see the velocity plot the pressure plot and here you can change the parameter the velocity how it is affecting okay here you can select the mark number as well the pressure the temperature anything you want to interpret so now you want to plot the trajectories the 3d trajectories the streamlines okay so you have to go to the part the flow trajectories into the flow trajectories you have to select the plane i am selecting the right plane because it will flow the 
perpendicular to the plane so i will keep it at this and how much points you want to add from uh, from where it will begin so i will create a, a 50 points the types of streamline pipes lines lines with arrows so i will check the arrow split it, it will look good i think the velocity okay now good it's very small so i will change the pipes okay so here you can see your trajectories are good like interpreting okay now here you can try a lot of options for the better uh, visual graphical interpretation okay but uh, i am skipping that part i am showing the how how you can like okay first i have to delete delete it i will hide and then insert now you have to check whether my flow is going into a uh, particular part or not how it is flowing the direction the direction of flow like a front wing to the brake duct part okay how much uh, flow it is taking and that affects the cooling of the formula 1 car these are the brake ducts so basically i will start selecting the parts where my where i want to interpret the flow trajectories so i will create the 50 okay so here you can see from this uh, these air foils are diverging the flow and this flow is directly going into the brake duct part okay so that's how you can uh, select the particular parts for the flow trajectories so uh, i will select the the rear spoiler drs the air foil this air foil okay and i will select the 100 okay so you can see the flow the starting points of this flow will directly will directly touch to the rear part of it so here you can see how the turbulence is getting generated okay now so you can play this play the animation I will select the difference surfaces. This surfaces you can select age also, age points, whatever you want. Here you can see how my flow is directing from the front wing to the rear tires. Okay. so here how you can do a basic simulation a basic cfd simulation before uh, moving moving on to the uh, advanced part in fluent star ccm plus okay so you have to know a basic first so here you can gain the confidence as well okay next what about the forces which have which we have uh done in pre processing so for that portion of uh, we can select the goal plot in a post processing part select the insert and select all okay so whenever you will show it will show you the graph how it is changing according to the iter iterations okay and also the in the summary there is there are the values okay 
so that's how you can find the drag force the down force coefficient of drag frontal area you have to calculate the frontal area as well okay so also you can generate the report from here create report okay so you can select the template the pictures okay then the ids the input data the results okay also you can uh, select the so if i do a section the yes no okay i have done the section part and i will change the scene no i will insert a float directories clear okay so i will select the break the part this part i'm checking my flow is how my flow is diverting to this part from the front wings okay so i will select the 100 the larger you in the larger number you will input the larger time it will take to calculate okay so here you can see the flow So that's all for today. For the advanced part, like a moving tire simulation, the equation part of it, the surface plots, the transient simulation, we will do into the next future videos. Uh, so please like and share. And thank you for uh, being here to the end. And we will meet in the next video. Okay. Comment down your views about this. Comment down your suggestion. Thank you. Jai Hind.